story Michael Faraday Now let's start with the lesson This story is about a great scientist named Michael Faraday He is regarded as one of the most distinguished scientists and investors of modern times and his work on electricity is still a subject of study in the form of Faraday's laws but his life was not so easy but few know his inspirational life story which is all about courage and fighting against odds Michael Faraday was born into a poverty stricken family in a dirty London suburb he suffered from a speech defect as a child he would pronounce rabbit as wabbit he could not even say his own name and would call himself Faraday other children laughed at him and teachers did not help him either when he was 12 his mother was forced to take him out of school thus putting an end to his formal education at 13 he started working with a book binder binding hundreds of books during the day and staying up all night to read them reading became his obsession one day he came across a book on electricity which had been sent to his master for binding he started reading it and was completely hooked that was his first introduction to the subject of electricity which soon became a lifelong fascination faraday was still poor at 21 once a friend gave him a free ticket to a public lecture and demonstration by the renowned chemist humphrey davy at london's royal institution davy's work on chemicals and electrical lighting was the subject of conversation among the scientists of that age 70 years later across the atlantic ocean in the usa the same work enabled thomas edison to produce the first consistent light bulb that day in 1812 faraday was spellbound by davy's lecture he kept taking notes about the mysterious force of electric fluid he was so engrossed in the lecture that he forgot to applaud with the rest of the crowd when he went back his notes were so comprehensive that he bound them into a book meaning to gift it to davy some day Faraday decided that day that he didn't just want to sell books he wanted to be a great scientist good enough to write his own books Davy became his role model but there was a problem he did not have the social status money or the education to pursue science Faraday thought it would be wonderful if Davy became his mentor but Davy did not agree initially Faraday was not dejected He just kept trying. Destiny had a strange plan in store for him. A few years later, a chemical explosion happened inside Davy's lab, and he was temporarily blinded. He now needed an assistant with an excellent memory to help him. He was reminded of Faraday and decided to hire him as his secretary. Davy never believed Faraday could do anything in the field of science going by his social status and education. He therefore dismissed Faraday's aspirations and advised him to stick to bookbinding. But Faraday was relentless. He worked day and night and learned as much as he could about Davy's experiments. Soon Faraday became indispensable to Davy and was promoted to his lab assistant. This was his first step towards a scientific career. Though much of his job now was cleaning labs, at least he got to see some of Davy's leading experiments. Even then Davy did not have much hope for Faraday. 